Welcome to Marvelous Designer's Quick Start Tutorial. In this video, we will learn about Marvelous Designer's modular library and auto-fitting toolset. The modular library can be turned on and off from the main menu, window, modular library, menu. Right-click on the top tab of each window to open and close windows corresponding to the types of central and side windows. Since the modular library corresponds to the side window, you can also open and close it from the side window pop-up menu. You can close the modular library by selecting Modular Library from the right-click menu on the top tab of the modular library window. There is a window minimize arrow on the upper right of the modular library window. And a window detach button on the upper left. When detaching a window, you can also detach it by clicking and dragging the tab of the window. When you launch Modular Library, there are three groups by default, kids, men, and women. Double-click Women to open it, and you will see category folders such as Basic Shirts, Bottoms, and Button Downs. Double-click Basic Shirts to open it. You will see styles such as Drop Shoulder, Rig Lan, and Set In, which are sub-menus of that category. Double-click Drop Shoulder to open it. The block types for each part of the garment will appear. Additionally, styles belonging to the same category will be displayed at the top. Clicking on each style will display the blocks for that style below. This time, we will select the button-downs category under Women. Select Long Sleeve. The blocks are configured differently depending on the garment, but they usually consist of front body, back body, sleeves, collar, etc. Let's configure the garment by selecting the blocks one by one. Double-clicking each block adds it to the 3D window and 2D pattern window. Double-clicking on the same block will replace the previously loaded block with the selected block. Select each block to complete the garment. When you load the blocks in this way, the sewing lines will be automatically created. In this way, the modular library allows you to quickly and easily create garments using blocks. If the block type is compatible with other styles, you can load the block to construct the garment. Among the block type categories, raglan and non-raglan types are not compatible with each other. The blocks, styles, categories, and groups used in the modular library can be customized according to the user's preferences. For more details, please refer to the modular library tutorial in the description. Now, let's load the avatar and try dressing it using the modular library. First, prepare a male avatar. Select Men, Button Downs, and Short Sleeve from the modular library. Select the desired block from block types such as front body and back body. Once the selection is complete, simulate it. After simulation, you can select another block to replace it. Try creating a garment by selecting from the same block type in a different style. Let's take a look at auto-fitting, a feature that allows you to dress your avatar in garments created using other avatars. For the auto-fitting feature to work, both the avatar and the garment must have fitting suit information. First, let's create a fitting suit for custom avatar. For reference, the avatars provided by Marvelous Designer include fitting suit information. 
When you load an avatar, you can automatically create a fitting suit. As an example, let's import an FBX avatar. In the Import FBX dialog, check the Auto Create Fitting Suit menu. You can check the avatar's fitting suit information by selecting Show Avatar Fitting Suit in Avatar Display. Next, let's learn how to create and modify fitting suits in Avatar Editor. Select Main Menu, Avatar, Avatar Editor. Select the Fitting Suit tab to display the existing fitting suit. The purple reference line and the fitting suit preview patterns before simulation are displayed in gray. If you did not create a fitting suit when importing the avatar, you can use the Auto Create Fitting Suit menu to create one automatically. To modify the fitting suit, delete the reference line and then select the item to recreate it. Alternatively, if you create a new line while the reference line is selected, the existing line will be automatically replaced by the new line. Reference lines are created by clicking three points, similar to when creating circumference measure avatar lines. Until version 2025.0, the direction of reference lines was indicated as L based on the user's perspective. But starting from version 2025.1, it is indicated as R based on the avatar in the 3D window. Once all reference lines are created, click Drape Fitting Suit to simulate the fitting suit. Once the fitting suit is put on, save it as an AVT file along with the avatar. Now, let's load the garment and run auto fitting. Load the garment for the kid avatar, which is a different size from the male avatar. Turn on the Show Garment Fitting Suit option in Garment Display. The garment fitting suit will be displayed in red on the kid's garment. After putting on the garment on the avatar with the avatar fitting suit, when you save the garment, the information of the fitting suit is also saved with the garment and displayed in red. When both the avatar fitting suit and garment fitting suit exist, you can use the Auto Fitting menu. Since the garment must be in the same position as the garment fitting suit, we will return the garment to its original position. Click the Auto Fitting tool in the toolbar. After making the necessary settings in the Auto Fitting dialog, select OK. Starting with Marvelous Designer 2025.1, you can use the Maintain Topology menu to execute Auto Fitting while maintaining the topology of the existing garment. The more vertices the garment has, the slower the Auto Fitting speed may be. When executed, the garment fitting suit is aligned with the avatar fitting suit, and the garment size is also adjusted and worn. Next, let's take a look at the Redrape 3D arrangement feature. When you click this tool, the garment fitting suit is adjusted to match the avatar fitting suit, and the garment is worn, similar to auto fitting. However, the difference from auto-fitting is that while auto-fitting adjusts the garment size to match the avatar's size and transforms it accordingly, the redrape 3D arrangement function only applies the garment to the character without altering its size. Therefore, during simulation, the garment is applied tightly. This concludes our overview of the auto-fitting function and the redrape 3D arrangement function.